Mac, I called you here because frankly I'm out of options. So that makes me your best last option. That's right, Scorpion. You're our best last option. Don't worry, Director Conroy. I won't let it go to my head. Scorpion, in the eyes of the law, you're still a criminal. But with the work you did helping apprehend Spider-Man, the public opinion is changing. And I must admit, so is mine. I am your best last option. Yes, yeah, Scorpion, that's fine. Mac, there's really no way to explain this other than to just say it. I'm Director, I personally find that saying things is the most effective strategy when it comes to explaining. Poor choice of words. What I mean Director, is... Director, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You really need to give yourself permission to fall short. Believe me, I've done a lot of personal work on this subject. When we fall short, it only means we have room left to grow. And remember, after fall comes winter. And winter begins with win. That last part I made up myself. Shut up, Scorpion. I'm sorry, but for the love of God, shut up. There's no time. Our world is in danger of being obliterated by a being from another dimension. And I'm putting you in charge of a team of criminals to stop it. Director Conroy, I can assure Morgan, you... Morgan, shut up and listen. Master Technician is on the team for his scientific genius and transdimensional ship device. The same device that allowed me to escape the Manhattan event. An atrocity that I personally would have never allowed to happen. Consider this my penance. Kotep the Sorcerer brings the magic and otherworldly expertise you may need. I concede to a temporary alliance to safeguard our common plane. Miss Trouble, the only person we know of possessing the secret knowledge required to control the mythical Pandora's box. I will unleash hell upon this invader. And Hunter Harvey Clivenden brings the sharp eye, tracking skills, uncanny intuition, and instincts of a stone-cold killer. Me? Well, I'm just in it for the fun. Scorpion, you are the leader of this team. You're the only one even remotely close to being a hero. And the only one here I can trust. You'd better stop, Conroy. I'm getting all teary-eyed. What comes next? Well, I just have to be blunt. Scorpion, you've got heart, and I believe you can lead this team. Why do I feel a butt coming on? But you're not the sharpest crayon in the box. Perfect for the most coloring in the least amount of time. And for shading. You're kind of stupid, Scorpion. Well, don't hold back, Director. By all means, tell me what you really think. I'm sorry, Scorpion, but aside from their respective skills, each of the other team members bring a vital component to this mission you lack. High intelligence. Mac, you keep these guys together. Keep them in line. But this enemy, the Skeletal Infanada, is best left to be dealt with by your team. Director Conroy, did you know that according to Reader's Digest, there are nine types of Mac, intelligence? Dementia 5 is a dimension of thought. Just let your team do the heavy lifting. But make no mistake, Scorpion. You are the leader of this team. You are the leader of the... Now wait a minute, I thought we were going to another dimension. What does that have to do with dementia? Shouldn't it just be Dimension 5? Yes, I had concern for that aspect of the mission as well. That's right, Benny. Director Conroy said I was their best last option. Best last option? But don't worry. I won't let fame and fortune go to my head. I'll always be the same old Mac you know and love. I never said I love you, Mac. I said you make me laugh. Once I got you to drop all that sex talk. I don't think of myself as a complicated man, Betty. If a request is made of me to change the subject of conversation, it is fully within my wheelhouse to comprehend and comply. Unless I get distracted by those beautiful steel blue eyes that remind me of the color of the ocean just before the sun rises. Then I might completely forget everything and get lost for a moment. You see, Mac? 
That's the kind of thing a girl likes to hear. Well, I wasn't just engineered in a lab yesterday, you know. <laughs> Mac, I've thought about it, and I kind of can't believe I'm saying this. But Mac, you come back safe from your mission, and I'm going to give you that second date you've been asking for. Mac? Yes, Betty, I'm here. I was so excited to hear about our second date that I accidentally put my fist through a mainframe computer. To say Director Conroy is not going to be happy is a considerable understatement. I have to say goodbye for now, Betty. I have a bus to catch to Dementia 5. Mac, be careful. Don't worry, Betty. I would conquer all the dimensions in the universe to keep you safe. Bye for now. My life is absolutely bizarre. So this is humanity's last line of defense. A scientist, a wizard, a librarian, a psychopath, and Crocodile Dundee. General Harris, I must point out that a highly functioning psychopath is altogether different than the crazed killers you see in the movies. Oh, should I take comfort that it was a highly functioning psychopath who murdered my dear Cleopatra? Yes, about that. It was my first day as New York's most incredible hero, and... Well, you wouldn't use a jackhammer to crack an egg now, would ya? I think that one just might be on you, Miss Trouble. Ah, uh, Scorpion here is a fine specimen, isn't he? What I wouldn't give for the chance to pursue this one in the field. I don't think any of us have time for your homosexual fantasies at the moment, Mr. Clivenden. And what about your fantasies, my dear Miss Trouble? How about you let old Ollie check out that dusty old book after we save the world? I think that's a classic volume that just might be long overdue. Is this the kind of juvenile nonsense I'll have to endure the entire mission? For it is my scientific genius that in the end will save this universe. Please, I was conquering worlds eons before you were a glint in your father's eye. Your so-called science is laughable compared to the true knowledge of sorcery. Excuse me, but this is an actual universal threat. Not casting for a Dungeons and Dragons LARP festival. And what's your brilliant plan, Poindexter? Bore him to death with mathematical theories and equations? Or assassinate him with your pocket protector? Everyone, this arguing is pointless. We are all valuable members of this team. The Skeleton Infantry. Skeletal Infinata. Yes, that is the most powerful enemy we have faced yet. Might we just become a team 20 minutes ago? Yes, nonetheless. Nevertheless. What? Nevertheless is the proper word for what you were saying. So, be it... May? Yes. We are the Thunderbolts. We are the best last option. Best last option? Let the lad finish his motivational speech so we can get on with it. Thank you, Mr. Dundee. Now, as I was saying, we are the Thunderbolts. And whether by science, or sorcery, gay hunting fantasies, or librarian sex, the Scoliosis Incel... Ada? Our enemy will be defeated by the power of our combined intellect. And nine documented types of intelligence. For example, I like music. Music is one type of intelligence. Jesus, we're all doomed. The wizard Gotep was the most dangerous among you, but I knew his lust for power would lead him to betray you all. Now he is lost forever in a cell of his own making. And the hunter Harley Clivenden, 
I knew his black heart could not resist the lure of the ultimate hunt. Now he will roam these halls forever in madness. As will the highly resourceful yet blindsided Miss Trouble. She was consumed with vengeance and rage is an emotion easily manipulated. In the end, it was her undoing. And Master Technician, whose reach exceeded his grasp one too many times. A fool who could not resist the unsolvable equation. Am I now condemned to an infinite sea of meaningless numbers and letters? But you, MacGargan, although the weakest mind among them, possess the purest heart and shall be given a chance. In these final moments of humanity as you know it, Behold your childhood home, broken by poverty and addiction. The desire for safety overshadowed only by the need to be seen. A desire you attempted to realize by disfiguring your body to become a human weapon for a paltry $10,000. A need you now seek to fulfill through this heroic obsession, and in the arms of a woman who could never love you. But Scorpion hear and take this to heart. In my newly expanded Dementia 5, you can be the hero you desire to be. You can have the recognition you've always longed for. I have the power to give you your heart's desire. And in this new reality, Betty would see the real you. As you were before the experiments. As you would have been had you been given as a child. The home you truly deserved. The love you truly needed. For good and evil are but concepts of the mind. And Dementia 5 can be a heaven as much as it can be a hell. You are not like the others, Mac. You are a good person. And you deserve it all. You need simply take my hand and be whole. I've actually done a considerable amount of work on my trauma and I just wanted to ask, will there be any massage or acupuncture involved? What? Well, the needles won't puncture my skin. And massage basically doesn't feel like anything. The transformation is instantaneous, Scorpion. You will require no... I have had some results with Reiki. No time. No holistic practices, Scorpion. Just take my hand and you will have... Will Betty have to relocate or change jobs? It's just that she has a good job in Toledo now and No, she doesn't need to relocate or change jobs. You both get everything you want. Now take my- I don't understand. For example, if I feel like Greek but Betty wants to go for Italian... Well, how would that work? I mean- In Dementia 5, all restaurants are like massive food courts that serve everything. Now take- Well, that sounds very convenient, but what about movies? Movies? Like if Betty wants to watch The Notebook for the 20th time, but there's a new Jason Statham movie I'd like Split to see- Split screen, virtual reality, holograms. But what if I have to go to the bathroom? Multidimensional, quantum, 
Odor phasing, garment sterilizing, couch toilets. But what? Auto wiping! Threat has been neutralized, General Harris. Hang tight for extraction, Scorpion. An auto wiping toilet! That must be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard! Although that food court did sound pretty good.